Hi, I'm Jason, and today I'm going to show you how to keep squirrels out of your bird feeder. I'll take my hat off so you can actually see my face. A squirrel's getting in your bird feeder, a common problem, right? It's funny, we've all seen videos of different ways that people keep them off. If you've got a metal pole like this, those little guys can still run up here. And then they do all kinds of damage, but I've figured out a way to keep them off. It's fantastic, it's fun, and if you set up your camera, you can catch sh funny shots like I've done. But more importantly, you can keep them out of your bird feeder. And let me show you, I'll just grab the camera here. So this is a bird feeder that my dad made for me. And, you know, just a simple wood one. In fact, there's this little mark, Lazy TB. So his initials are TB, but they're tipped, lazy TB. Anyway, so he made this for me, and look what the little bastard squirrels do. They climb up here, and if there's no bird seed, then they get up and they start chewing on the wood because they're trying to get to the seed inside. And I tried everything here to keep these guys off. You wouldn't think they could come up this pole, this metal pole, but they can. They can get up here and just launch and rip right up here and get up. So. Let me set the camera up and I'll go through how to do this. Okay, once you know how to do it, it's simple, but it takes, uh, it, I'll show you, it's fun. Okay, so the first thing is, you know, the squirrels, they can just grab. They get the claws and they can grab on. So your metal pole needs to be as clean as possible, not rusty or anything like that. Uh, the more slick, the better. So I'll just go through the process here. First thing is just clean it, wipe it off. If you need to put fresh paint on it, do so. Um, and I wipe off clear down to where they could possibly be jumping from, which is clear in the bottom. So it's clean. And then the first thing I did when I first was trying to experiment is I just used uh, olive oil, good old California olive oil. And I dumped on here. I'm like, this is going to make it slick. And that didn't work. They ripped right up this thing. They didn't, it didn't even slow them down. So then I'm like, well, I want something a little heavier. And so I used uh, coconut oil because I wanted something safe, you know, food safe. I don't want to put anything poisonous out here. Um, so coconut oil, uh, that didn't work either because it was like too thick. The trick is the combination of them both. This is the magic. This is the secret sauce. So taking your coke, you know, this is just from Costco, but any solid coconut oil and grabbing a piece of it like this. And just grease up your pole like this. Rubbing it on there. And I'm gonna go clear down here because the little guys, they, they like to stand down here and jump and come on up. Okay. So if we just left that like it is, that wouldn't be enough. It's like too thick. So we're creating two levels of um, friction, you know, resistance for them to grab onto. Okay, and then from here, I just put a little bit on here like this. Let it run down. In fact, I should just put some on my hands. Whoop, lots of it. And like that. And as I rub it like this, uh, is the pole getting taller? I can't tell. Okay. And that's it. Go get your camera and set it up because they're gonna come lollygagging up here like normal. And then when they go to jump up, you'll see what happens. It's hilarious.
Now, this won't last forever. Um, I put it on in the dead of winter when it was freezing outside and it lasted a long time. But as the sun comes out and it gets warmer and warmer, um, the oil melts and kind of runs down. The good thing is the squirrels don't know that. <laughs> After a while, they quit trying. So uh, I would say probably twice a year to do this. As new squirrels come out, they may try it again. Or if they've seen their parents do it and they learn, uh, they may try it. But uh, setting that up like that keeps them off. And now I have no more squirrels bothering me. Okay? I hope this helps somebody and provides some hilarious entertainment. Just watch my videos that I've made. Okay? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.